Oh, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor T.R. Thompson coming to you with the truth. And just remember that it is the truth that'll make you free. All right, y'all. I just want to just remind you today that we are blessed. All right. Uh, there is a brief word for you. I know that um, everybody's getting ready for Thanksgiving and everybody's getting ready for their Sunday morning service. And I pray that everybody have a wonderful service today. Um, and I pray that we uplift the name of Jesus, you know, because the Bible tells us where two or three are gathered together in his name. He is there in the midst of them. But as a brief word that I want to want to want to give to you, um, just uh, something to encourage you, something to uh, make you uh, realize some things. All right? uh, I want to talk about the two things you should do with your day. All right? The two things you should do with your day. I'm going to make it make sense. We have been blessed with an opportunity to have another day. If you're up, your eyes are open, you're walking around, you're able to smell, you're able to see, you're able to uh, uh, um, just realize you're existing, you're able to realize that you have hands, you have feet, you are alive. You are, and, and, and maybe some people may not be as well as we want to be, but we still have breath. And we're still alive and God has blessed us with this day. All right. Now, being that God has blessed us with this day, there are two things that we need to do with it. You ready? Y'all ready for it? Come on, Zach. Come on, Zach. Pastor T, go ahead and give us a two. All right, here we go. The first thing we need to do, we need to rejoice. All right. Oh, yeah, the Bible tells us to be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, letting your requests be made known unto him. So we must rejoice in this day. We must be thankful. We must rejoice. We must be glad that God has allowed us another opportunity to see a beautiful day. All right. So the first thing we must do and you should do when you realize that you are in this day, then you rejoice. Yeah, rejoice, like be glad, like joyous. And see, I just gave you the last one. Oh, man. What the next one is, be glad, okay? Yes, be glad. So you are to rejoice and be glad. So I'm going to give you the scripture. I know that y'all waiting on it. The scripture tells us in Psalms 118 and 24, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So therefore, I want to let you know that you must rejoice in your day. Yes, I, I know it's not like you want it to be. I know that um, some of us are already starting to think about the holidays. We started thinking about getting prepared for Christmas and all of those good things. But I'm telling you, don't let the enemy steal your joy by worrying about something that is not here yet. You got today. And today, I want to challenge you to rejoice in your day. So there's two things that we can do with our day. Two things you need to do with your day. That is rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> How many of y'all are glad? I'm, 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 hey, my money don't look like I needed to look, but guess what? I'm still glad. Why? I got another opportunity to get it right with God. I got up this morning and I thought about my day yesterday. And I thought I had a pretty good day yesterday. But there's some things that I may have done. There's some things that I may have said. There's some things that I allowed to happen that I probably wasn't so proud of. You get what I'm saying? But so when I woke up this morning, I said, thank God that you gave me another chance. I'm able to ask for forgiveness. I'm able to talk to him and let him know that God, I want to do it better today. You hear what I'm saying? So I am so glad that God gave me that opportunity. So what you need to do is rejoice and be glad. Two things you need to do with your day today. Ha, come on, somebody. What you need to do? Rejoice and be glad. Amen. Can I give you the scripture again? Scripture said, Psalms 118 and 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. And be glad in it. Amen.
Hey man, y'all be blessed. This is Pastor T.R. Thompson coming to you with the truth. And just remember that it is the truth that'll make you free. Rejoice and be glad. Peace.